What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and another install because it's still a little slow getting out and getting on those trails. But today I've got an easy install. Um, doesn't even really need a video, but I'm gonna do one on a CBI ARB compressor mount for the Tacoma. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we were out uh, trail riding a little bit and we hit a little whoop, got some air, and I ripped out um, my ARB compressor from the fender wall of my trunk. Uh, let's just go check that uh, damage out right now. All right, guys, it's a little hard to see, but uh, here are the two um, bolts that were in the truck that I had uh, mounted a DUI homemade um, compressor mount, and it worked for a long time, but that uh, that little whoop really had enough force to rip it out, so we're gonna be installing the CBI uh, compressor mount right here with those three screws. Um, so. so I was gonna do a dual battery setup, and I still might, but for the time being, I'm gonna install this uh, compressor mount in that location. That's the exact location the dual battery will go. I installed a VO switch system um, kind of over the fuse box, which is usually where the twin air compressor goes for a lot of people. So until I decide to upgrade to the twin or do something else, I'm gonna put this in that, uh, that place and we'll think about a dual compressor at some point. But for now, we're going to install this um, ARB compressor onto the mount and then into the truck and I'll show you what I do. So first thing we need, uh, we need a 13 millimeter socket for the three supplied uh, nuts. This is the compressor mount. The four small holes hold the compressor, the three bigger holes uh, mount right on top of the uh, passenger side fender. We need a 10 millimeter socket for the four millimeter I mean for the four 10 millimeter nuts uh, that will mount to that. And this is my homemade, uh, this is what I had homemade myself. And it was a piece of um, just angle iron. And you can tell that it really took a beating on that whoop. It completely bent not only in the mount, but it pulled the uh, these bolts right out of the Truck. and these were factory mounts these were already in the truck I didn't I didn't add these these were already in the, the truck so uh, in between the angle iron and that nut is sheet metal so it that was a lot of force we don't need that anymore we're gonna clean this air compressor up um, this plate we're gonna mount over here and then we're gonna and we'll mount the compressor onto that and I'll show you what we're doing first we're gonna clean that up all right, guys, I'm just gonna use a little uh, pick and span. All right, guys, so what I did is got the four bolts through, um, the compressor mounts sidewards. This tab is towards the front of the vehicle, the two screws and these two screws are towards the front. Um, I made sure that my connection was closer to the engine so I had easy access to it. My filter would be protected by the air box in the vehicle. Not that it's a big deal, but um, I think it's just a little bit cleaner air circulation over there than uh, by the engine where it's open bay. So I'm gonna tighten down my four, um, four bolts on this and then we'll go to the truck and uh, finish the install. I'm also adding a blue Loctite to these. All right, guys, completed project. We got our full, our four bolts holding the compressor onto the mount. Back of the truck, front of the truck. This will be in towards the engine bay. Uh, engine bay. That's just my preference. Um, all in all, solid setup, and it's gonna look great. All right guys, so we just got the compressor mounted to the CDI uh, compressor mount. Now we're gonna take this and mount it in the truck. All right guys, so here are the three bolts we're gonna use. We're gonna use these two here, and the one way up there in the front. Um, don't mind my horn, I gotta move that. So all we're gonna do is set this in. 
Line those up. There it goes. All right. One of the reasons I went with this compressor mount over a couple other brands were uh, price is kind of key. Uh, it was under 100 bucks. Uh, I liked the location that this was going to be in, and I like the fact that it came powder coated black. Uh, a lot of things don't come powder coated. Powder coating, if anybody doesn't know, can get very expensive. Uh, and I like things that just come ready to go so we'll get the rest of these tightened up and we'll see what it looks like after it's all hooked up all right guys thank you for watching another quick easy install for the Tacoma I promise I'll get some trail videos out to you as soon as we can get out and have some days off I'm currently on my five days off, but I've got a bunch of other work in between that and my wife is working six days a week at the COVID clinic So it's been kind of stressful, but we're going to get out on some trails this year um, I think I just got a trail surprise coming at the end of fall uh, Please like subscribe and share this video um, Just want to get some uh, Northeast uh, con uh, content out for what we do up in Maine and uh, you know the New England area so uh, if you're enjoying it, please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next one.